In this video, we're going to cover a brand new serial feature that came in with serial 140, which is called DTCP over IPv4. Now, you may have watched already a video I did around DTCP over IPv6, which came in with serial 114. I also wrote a detailed blog post that talk about uh, you know, why you may need uh, BigTCP and uh, the performance gains you can get from uh, BigTCP. I'm going to start by doing a quick recap, and then I'm going to show you with a, with a demo the performance improvement you can get by using BigTCP over IPv4. So for, but first, let's recap what we don't, what is BigTCP um, and why do we do we need something like this? Uh, and if you think about kind of modern networks, right, you're, we're moving to from having the traditional 10, 100, 1 gig uh, network to 100 and beyond networks, right? So we're having some mega uh, powerful networks with with uh, huge requirements from a, from a bandwidth perspective. And that's putting a lot of pressure on the CPU to process all these packets. And if you think about a normal packet with an MTU of you know, one, one and a half thousand bytes, that means that the CPU would have to process about 8 million packets per second when you have a 100 gig network, which is you know almost impossible for, for any CPU to handle. So what we have to be able to do is to um, you know group packets together to reduce the number of packets that are being processed by the CPU as it kind of traverses the Linux networking stack. So that's really what, what BTCP is about. It's about grouping packets together so that we have fewer packets to, to handle at the, at the CPU level. Now, it's not a new problem. We've had uh, other uh, technologies to address this, uh, but there are some limitations. So we had uh, something called GRO, which is called which is generic receive offload, and something called TSO, which is transmit segmentation offload. And you can see, in the picture here, and what we did is we um, we essentially group packets together into a much bigger sixty four k uh, size packet again as it kind of went over the Linux networking stack. Uh, that was, you know, again significant improvement, obviously, um, but that still leaves a lot for the CPU to to handle. And we were limited by that 64K limit. And I was essentially due to the fact that the length of an IP packet is, um, is determined by the field, um, length field. And that's a 16 bit field. So the maximum value was essentially 64K. And so we had to find ways to uh, specify a bigger packet size as it crosses the Linux networking stack. Uh, and that's what BigTCP over IPv6 was about. And again, BigTCP over IPv4 uh, provides similar types of functionality uh, by essentially providing a, a way to specify a bigger packet size so you can go from uh, you know, beyond the 64K limit. And for Cilium, uh, what you will see in, in our, in our, in our demo, we currently go up to 192K, right? So we're tripling the maximum uh, size of the, of the packet. So, um, having said all this, I think it's best, uh, demonstrated with a demo. So in my demo environment, what I've got is I've got, um, small, uh, kind, cluster, Kubernetes cluster uh, using kind. And we are, uh, we've deployed Selenium. Well, quick look at the Selenium version. That's Selenium 140.0 RC0, which was one of the earlier release candidates for um, Selenium 114. Uh, and so far, I've not enabled the big TCP feature. But what I had to do before deploying this is update the kernel version. That's one of the key requirements for this feature, uh, as it's a, a literally a brand new feature which was merged, as you can see here in the. Uh, uh, this is from the Linux uh, mailing list, um, and this was only added in back in January. So this is very recent. Um, so what I had to do was to upgrade um, 
the Linux kernel on, on the machine, and you can see I'm running 6.4, which, you know, as time of recording, one of the latest Linux kernel. So uh, what I've got, again, is um, um, an environment which um, um, uh, is a very small uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster. And I'm going to run some performance testing uh, before IP uh, Big TCP, and then I'm going to enable Big TCP, and we are going to run the same tests and see some of the performance uh, improvements. So to run my network performance testing, I'm going to be using uh, NetPerf. So I'm deploying a NetPerf server, a NetPerf client. And again, it's a pretty much the same demo I did in the previous video. So if you want to uh, to check it out and uh, check the, the blog post, again, we provide a bit more information about uh, how it all works. But essentially, it's just a uh, performance throughput test between two pods based on different nodes. Uh, so what we get first is, uh, let's just check that my pods are ready. Here we go, they're up and running. And let's zoom in a bit. Hopefully it should be better. Here we go. So and as you can see, I'm using a, a lab environment, um, which I'm hoping to make public in the, in, in the coming weeks and months. So let's get the IP address of our NetPerf server. It's 10.244.1.226. And we're going to start um, uh, uh, NetPerf um, throughput testing. So as you can see, we're just uh, we're going to exit into the NetPerf client and run a performance testing towards our server. And let's have a look. So all this is done over IPv4. And again, that's before I've enabled big TCP. Right? So if we have a quick look at the performance. And I can run the test a couple of times. It just takes a few seconds. You can see that the throughput in, uh, in packets per second is about between five and 6,000. And from a latency perspective, uh, it's around the, uh, from a 99th percentile, uh, around the three, 400, um, maybe up to 500 uh, microseconds. And by enabling big TCP over IPv4, uh, you will see the latency will go down. You know, again, fewer packets to uh, process and to handle, we we'll group packets together, and the throughput will increase pretty significantly. Now, uh, let's go ahead and enable Big TCP. And I'm going to uh, enable the feature by just using Selenium config set, which is just a, a command again to modify the Selenium config map. Um, and as we do this, um, it will restart the Selenium uh, pods. Just takes a minutes or so. Um, Let's just verify that the um, BTCP has now been enabled. Yes. And we're just going to uh, delete our NetPerf servers and just recreate them um, for the BTCP change to be uh, to be reflected. So again, it just takes, uh, takes a, a few seconds for the new NetPerf pods to be deployed. And we're going to run another Net Performance test, and we're going to just compare with uh, the previous results. Yeah. So while we wait, we go there up and running. Um, let's have a quick look. Sure, they are. Yeah, they are up and running. And again, we're going to uh, get the IP address of the NetPerf server, access uh, the client using kubectl exec, and run the same performance tests. Uh, and we'll see again compare and contrast. Right, so the latency um, is around the 290 marks. Um, I think it was before, it was about 300 and higher. Again, we can run the test. I think it was more about, yeah, around, around 400. Uh, so the, the 
latency has gone from like about 400 mark to the 300 mark, which is pretty, pretty good. But I think what what's even more impressive is the throughput. Uh, we were around the 5,000 packets per second, and we've now gone up to about 8,000 packets per second by simply enabling one feature, which is, again, that's pretty remarkable. So this is a, obviously a brand new Linux kernel feature that came in with uh, Linux kernel 6.3. Uh, as far as I know, Cilium is the only platform, like public platform to support big TCP, whether it's over IPv4 or IPv6. And as you can see with this very short demo, the performance gains can be really impressive. Now, still uh, better as I record this video, but I would you know, highly recommend you go and try this out, uh, especially if you're running like a, a high performance networks in your data center and you want to go and find some you know, marginal gains in uh, your network performance. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.